Professor M. Zhu from China. This is a great honor for me to have the opportunity to present my thesis. This thesis has been completed under the supervision and guidance of Professor Michael. I would like to express my uh, sincerest thanks to him here. I would also like to thank Professor Mandy and Professor Edwards for their comments on my work, which have made my thesis more complete. Uh, the topic is about uh, aesthetic transformation of China's real estate industry. Uh, firstly, I need to briefly describe China's current real estate business model. In the traditional model, the whole process uh, from land purchase by real estate financing, design, construction, and sales is completely self funded and the returns from sales uh, will be uh, used to repay the advance loan and make a new round uh, of land purchase. Because of the high capital requirements, we generally refer to it as uh, asset heavy model. However, due to the Chinese national uh, system and many other reasons, uh, land price have continued to uh, rise over the past 20 years. And at the same time, in order to reduce financial, uh, financial risk, the government uh, has imposed restrictions on the disorderly uh, financing activities in the past. This has led to the failure of the asset heavy model. This is also reflected in the investment growth rate over the past two years. A new business model has been uh, born. Uh, briefly, this new business model means that real estate uh, companies use their uh, management experience and teams to work with some partners who own land resource and collect management fees from them. Under this model, the real estate uh, company no longer needs to raise a uh, large amount of uh, capital to purchase land, so we also call it an asset type model. Uh, but frankly, uh, after recent years of development, I found that there are not many uh, successful cases. Uh, the reason is that people still look at the asset type model with uh, traditional thinking. Uh, without thinking about whether the management uh, strategy matches the uh, asset line model. Uh, therefore, the purpose of this thesis is to answer a question uh, what management strategy can improve the probability of a successful transformation to the asset line model? Uh, the question I have revealed a large amount of literature. In fact, many scholars, especially in China, uh, have made some simple discussions in the past, uh, such as business layout, uh, the call advantage, the adjustment of the management, and so on. Uh, however, I found that most scholars uh, only describe the many problems, but uh, no mention of how to solve these problems. In addition, due to the difference in national policy and the economic system, uh, there are very few estimated uh, research results in the real estate field as far as from countries other than China. Uh, even within China, the research results are uh, relatively superficial and uh, fragmented which may be due to the fact that the transformation has not been going on for a very long time and therefore has not yet been taken seriously by those scholars. Uh, regarding the methodology, I would like to be more uh, relevant. The first step is to find those excellent companies and then find uh, communities in the but what kind of company is excited? I think there are some principles. For example, the number of the years they've been in the business, uh, their industry working, and their income scale. 
really means uh, when the learner experience is credible, uh, recognized by the community and the successful. Uh, based on these principles, I have selected three companies, uh, Reno, uh, Central China, and Jenga. Uh, in the model, I will use GT, uh, CC and the GT to represent them. I have also chosen a field company as a hunter case in the space. The paper was uh, collected by a uh, questionnaire. I spent a year interviewing uh, more than 40 people covering all levels and all uh, specializations. For example, CEO, uh, VP of Operation, CFO, uh, Investment Manager, uh, and so on. The uh, questions are of general interest and have been discussed uh, frequently over several years of practice. From the results of the uh, interviews, there are some interesting conclusions. For example, when asked about the reasons for the transformation, 50% uh, agreed that it was based on the uh, continued decline in profits, uh, reflecting the fact that the transformation is more of a reactive action uh, in terms of building of advantage and uh, business layout. 40% uh, felt they need to lay more on the existing resource and stress of their parent company. It is worth noting that uh, 45 percent continue to focus on income and return, but uh, in trusted that is uh, satisfaction, which clearly witness the basis for cooperation. Then, how to serve the entrusted public better uh, through management strategy? I have found the four points of consensus. These four points relate to business layouts, uh, code advantage, organizational structure, and uh, uh, risk control awareness. Uh, I will only pick out key points here. All three companies focus on a particular region uh, at the beginning of their business development and then gradually expand outward. From CC is even more obvious with more than 90% of its business in Hunan province alone. For the agency construction business, centralized development makes it easier to uh, localize and upgrade uh, products. From another viewpoint, the barrier effect of centralized development is also strong. Judging from the layout map of the three company, even as strong as uh, from GT and from GD, it is difficult to win a large number of projects in the whole base of from CC. This is also highlights the importance of an uh, independent organizational structure uh, beyond the need for listing an independent and uh, flexible management system can ensure better fit with the new business model. Uh, through a set of responsibility process and uh, uh, evaluation standard that are different from the traditional model, the ABC construction team can be helped to realize that its performance is closely linked to the entrusted public's evaluation uh, that's continuously uh, increasing the trust of both sides. Uh, these three companies are quite different. However, each uh, company has implemented these points uh, rigorously and they did achieve good uh, performance. Uh, in this thesis, I also introduced for other uh, company that had no choice but to abandon its SFM business in 2021 uh, due to the fact that its business layouts are too fragmented, had no clear advantage, and had not built a risk control system, uh, resulting in continuously uh, 
as in his x-ray readings. In the management uh, recommendation section, I have marked the importance of several of these success factors for different stage and the different plans. For example, in the early stage of development, uh, as the number of projects is small and the company has just started this business, it's very important to uh, familiar, uh, familiarize with the consumer uh, habits in the region first. And at this stage, index development in the particular region is the priority strategy. Uh, however, in the mature stage, with more and more projects uh, across the country, how to standardize the uh, control becomes uh, important. And at this time, employee risk management becomes the priority strategy. Uh, the focus is different for um, different types of interested parties too. But I think the most important is uh, whether this thesis has lessons for other ICI highway industries. Uh, different industries may have different strategies, but I believe that at least three points are universally applicable uh, across industries. Uh, such as uh, health advantage, work management, and the risk control awareness. Uh, because these three points solve the two key questions uh, what can you do as a client business and how can you do well in the as a client business? I have listed some uh, specific uh, management barriers in the next and we will not go into detail here. Uh, of course, this season has many shortcomings. The first is that uh, because the transformation of China's real estate industry is still in its early stage, there are too few successful cases to really learn from, which leads to an uh, insufficient sample set. Second, the asset and business model is evolving. So it is uncertain whether the current uh, success factor uh, will still be applicable in the future. Uh, based on these two shortcomings, uh, ongoing data collection and the pattern uh, observation are necessary in future research. Finally, it is not enough to have some uh, success factors, but also some uh, specific management barriers. Uh, this is why I would like to uh, focus on performance management as a future research direction. I would like to end with a short uh, summary. Going back to your question in chapter 1, uh, what management strategy can improve the probability of successful transformation to the asset type model? I give my answer. I believe that when the times abandon a certain old model, you will also accept another new model. And for this new model, you need to find some factors to cater for it, which is also the purpose of this thesis. I hope that with further research, I can uh, really make it an uh, asset that uh, original evidence for China's real estate industry. Uh, finally, I would like to thank Professor Mark again for his guidance. Thank you all for listening. Uh, that's all I have shown. Thank you.